welcome back to Turntable Guy. On the bench today, we have a Yamaha YP211. This is your classic CEC manufactured belt drive turntable with an AC motor. Um, I believe this one is a semi-automatic. Uh, yes, it is. Um, <clears throat> the owner of this one, uh, we're going to do a complete service on it, but I'm not going to film the service because I believe I have done some other Yamahas and other CECs that you can view that are identical to this table. Uh, what this owner is concerned about the most is the tone arm and the fact that the cueing, let me just uh, start it up here. Oops, going back. This one you have to press play to get it to drop. Okay, it's in the start position now. So watch what happens. That should drop normally um, on the cueing. It drops like a rock. And it goes up like a rock or like a balloon. Um, it, uh, it's really bad if if you go to drop this on your record, you're going to pooch your stylus. And this is a very common issue and has to do with this little sucker over here. Um, that is the uh, cueing mechanism. And it is obviously devoid of any uh, fluid. And uh, this is what we use. Uh, it's a silicone damping fluid. It's available online from, um, where's this from? TurntableBasics.com. And I think it's about 10 bucks for a tube of this stuff, and it'll probably last you a lifetime. So you don't need very much. So we're just going to do the, uh, the queuing on this turntable. Um, it requires a full service. Uh, this belt has seen better days. It's uh, got some weird stuff going on here. It's filthy for one thing. Um, the motor is very dry. Um, it is holding speed, but uh, it could be better. Um, very classic design. You're going to see this in a lot of turntables from this era. Spindle's not bad, but it could just be metal upon metal at this point. It doesn't feel like there's any oil in there whatsoever. Um, and I'm going to set up the tone arm because that uh, is not set up correctly. I don't have no idea what kind of cartridge is on here either. I've never seen one of these before. Uh, but that's not what we're here for today. We're here to repair this queuing. So you want to remove anything attached to this tone arm. That includes your head shell. Here's that cartridge I was talking about. It just says stereo on it. I'm not sure who the manufacturer of this one is. Interesting. Yeah, put that aside, we'll remove our counterweight. And we're going to remove our anti-skating weight. There. Now nothing should fall out of this. Uh, we're probably going to have to remove the queuing arm mechanism. But first, what we'll do is zoom in a little bit here. There's a little screw on the side here, and that should be your height adjustment. But you're, what we're going to want to do here is just to completely remove it. Just unscrew it a little bit. Just move your arm out of the way, and that should come out. There we go. So that's the uh, queuing arm. We we'll walk our tone arm back in, and here's the piston. As you can see, there's almost no uh, damping at all. But that probably needs to come out through the bottom. So, let's get the belt out of the way. And we will have a look underneath. Oh, Mr. Spider is here. I don't know if you can see Mr. Spider. He's got a little house going on there. We'll leave him alone. And, uh, Unless he's a black widow. Other, no, he doesn't look like a black widow. Yeah, he's small enough that I don't think we're going to have to worry about getting poisoned. Anyway, let me take these uh, these screws out and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I brought uh, Mr. Spider outside so he won't be uh, bothering us any further. And uh, if you look right here under under this where the screw is that's where our piston is so to get at it we're gonna have to remove a couple pieces here 
Looks like we're going to have to remove this arm, which is held in with a uh, clip. Which is in a very irritating spot, I have to say. How's that view? Is that any better? Right there. Uh -oh. Center a little bit more. Here, there, how's that? There we go, there's our E clip. And uh should just slide out. Not attached anywhere else, I don't think. Um, there have been uh, quite a few spiders living in here, from what I can see. There are webs everywhere. Okay, why don't you want to come out? Oh, I see why you don't want to come out. There's a spring under there. Uh huh. Ah, do I want to, maybe we can just get this kind of out of the way, just leave it kind of there. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with springs. Not that they're not impossible to put back, it's just that they're under tension and if I can just kind of get these out of the way here, I'll be happy with that. This is next, we need to remove this arm right here. So I'm just going to remove an E-clip over here. And that one came out a little nicer. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, so that gives us pretty good access here to our piston. And uh, my guess is it's just going to come straight out. And it does. Well, this is going to be like the easiest repair in the history of repairs here, folks. Um, there you go. There's your piston. So you don't need to take these off. Just move them over to the side. That'll save you a lot of time and effort and headaches. So as you can see, or as you probably can't see, there is no fluid left on here. So we're going to we'll get some nice fluid on there for it. We'll just clean off some of the old stuff first. Alrighty, so we'll grab our damping fluid. I'm going to do it down here because that uh, phone likes to uh, focus it on weird things occasionally. So hopefully this is nice and clear. If it's not, I apologize. Alright, so we're just going to put a little bit of uh, silicone grease here. That. Just a little bit here too. Just get it all coated. And uh, drop it back down the well. And that is already better. Look how nicely that's uh, absorbing the springy action, right? Isn't that nice? All right, <laughs> this is great. Let's put our arm back on. B clip. This is the kind of repair I like. Thank you, CEC, for making that easy. I don't know how easy it's going to be on that Marantz 6200 which is not that different than this table. I mean, they all have similarities. There's that back. And this goes up like that. Through there. Like that. Oopsie. Right there. Good. 
this is an adjustment for height as well I guess depending how much uh, height you want there that screw touches the plate that pushes down on the piston once you get this e-clip back in that is this one's a bit of a bad spot it's hard to get uh, okay, I have to force this one in like this there we go okay well I'm pretty excited just to see how that worked out so what I like to do is I like to pull this back and just get some air at the top so it doesn't leak out and then cap it up for the next job all right I'm just gonna flip this over see if it's any better zoom out there we go. okay I don't know where we are here as far as that's good so get your uh, this has to be adjusted again, obviously, but just uh, let's just get it on there and we'll just. Oh, yeah, that already works great. I can tell. We'll just uh, screw that down for now. Let's get it kind of in the position there. And here we go. All right, let's go queuing up. OK, that's way too high. And watch this. Look at that. Lovely. I love it. There you go. The beauty of silicone damping fluid. Isn't that lovely? Drops nice and slow. It's obviously way too high. So we're going to have to get that a lot lower. But I will adjust that. And uh, mess around with this a little bit. So if the platter's on there, and the platter mat, I think we're okay. If not, I might need to adjust that screw underneath. Oh no, it's a, uh, it's below the, it's below the, the uh, where the record would sit. So that's it. It's a little high. I might, I might adjust that screw on the bottom there just to get it a little bit lower. But uh, yeah, that is a million times better. So there you go, that's how you replace the damping fluid on a CEC manufactured turntable. This is the Yamaha YP211. It's probably going to be a little bit different for each model, but uh, it gives you a rough idea of what you got to do. And this model here, uh, it's just a matter of moving a couple uh, uh, of those uh, metal bars aside, right? And uh, uh, not taking them out and just getting enough room just to pull that piston out and get it coated with uh, some fresh silicone grease. All right, that was a quick one. Uh, glad it worked out real fast. I'm going to give this in a complete overhaul, like I mentioned. And uh, I've got a bunch of new turntables into the shop. Um, I've got a Thorin's TD125. I'm still working on that, um, that Marantz 6200. Um, so uh, hopefully lots of videos to come. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.